Okay, so I am just a couple days shy here of being 35 weeks pregnant, and I know that I have, if you've watched my pregnancy updates at all, then I've mentioned this a few times that my kids came, all of my kids came by about 37 weeks. And so my husband and I try to get down to Aldi about once a month at least to stock up on some good solid um, organic snacks and frozen foods and things like that. And um, we realized that this would be our last trip this month and that we probably won't go next month. So we did a big stock up and I thought I would show you guys what we got. Um, obviously, because this is for a couple of months worth of snacky type of processed foods, um, I didn't, I, I don't have a lot of the fresh foods to show you. These are all processed foods. These are things that are shelf stable or will go in our freezer well. Things that will be available and ready just to hand the kids those first couple of weeks with a newborn. Um, and also, we're going to have a lot of you know, my husband's parents and my parents live in town. And so we'll have a lot of people here helping us with our older kids the first couple of days and in those early weeks. And so I just thought as long as we had stuff that's accessible to them to feed the kids, the foods they're used to, we might as well stock up on all of that. And so here is what we've got. We grabbed six bags of these yellow corn tortilla chips. Now, mind you, again, this is for a couple of months. It's not just for like, you know, two weeks worth of food. So six bags of these. We have six bags of these white cheddar puffs for the kids. We have one, two, three, four bags of the oat bread and two bags of the seed tastic bread. Seven bags of this organic Honduran fair trade coffee. Um, seven bags was all they had. Otherwise, I think John said he was going to grab some more, right, John? Yeah. Yeah. This is really good, good coffee. And it's four ninety nine. Did you notice? No, uh, it's four dollars and forty nine cents a bag. Four forty nine? Okay. Yeah. yeah, it's really inexpensive considering that it's organic and fair trade. So seven bags of that and those will come in handy in those newborn days. We grabbed two packs of paper plates. We're not big paper plate fans, but we will be here shortly for a little bit. Um, I thought I got two salsas. Did I just get one? One salsa and some trail mix. And then we've got four boxes of this. Now again, not a huge fan of the processed nature, but that's just going to be, you know, just a little, um, a little period of time there for that first, pretty much the first like week or two after the baby's born before we get back into our normal swing of meals and lunches and healthy foods. We've got six boxes of spaghetti noodles, three jars of spaghetti sauce. I've got some sauce frozen that I've made. Um, two boxes of Cheerios. Two boxes of their cookie crisp. This is a super big treat for our kids, so that'll be fun. Whoever ends up giving that to them is gonna be their hero. <laughs> um, three boxes of these animal cookies, three uh, chocolate and three boxes of vanilla. Then we've got two boxes of chocolate chip granola bars, two boxes of vanilla chip granola bars, a box of raspberry fruit strips, and a box of strawberry fruit strips, two bags of quick brown rice for easy dinners, some chicken or something like that. We've got two bottles of apple juice, four bags of these crackers. These are mine and my husband's favorite crackers. Um, and then I think that's all the stock up stuff besides the two thing, two packages of paper towels and two packages of toilet paper up there. Um, and then these are just like our normal, uh, we grabbed a few things. This is not stock up stuff over here. This is just stuff we needed from the store. Um, let's see, we've got knife sharpener that I didn't know we had. <laughs> I think my husband grabbed that. Um, some, what are these called? What the heck? Sandwich bags. Some feminine product. We've got some olive oil, two bottles of the apple cider vinegar with the mother. This wine my husband grabbed. Um, I've, I've never seen these before. They looked like the kids would enjoy them, so I just got them some kind of fun little treat. 
gluten-free pretzels from my father-in-law. I needed this frosting for something that Isabella's making. We need sponges, ketchup, parchment paper, almonds for my homemade granola, and then some Italian seasoning and garlic there. And then I will show you what we got in the refrigerator section and the produce we got for this week for our house. So again, these are just like snack stock up for the next couple of months here for those easy, new, those rough newborn days to make things easier on everyone with the kids. And we spent a total of $404 for all of this, plus then what I have next to show you. Okay, so we have in the, the cold stuff over here, we've got five half gallons of milk and three half gallons of almond milk. These are all organic. Um, we've got two cartons of cottage cheese. This is just to help me with my nursing and milk supply in the beginning. Um, I know that I need to like up my protein right at the beginning, toward the end of every pregnancy and the beginning of every um, nursing session. Uh, we've got four cartons of organic whole milk yogurt. This does not expire until yeah, March 24th, so that will last us a couple of weeks after she is born. Um, and then we've got one, two, three, four, five pine nut hummus containers and one garlic hummus container. These expire in May, so that will last us through some time there. We've got four cartons of eggs that don't go bad until, what was the date on these, John? Do you remember? Uh, March 25th. Okay, so we go through about two dozen eggs a week, so hopefully these eggs will last us. Um, you know, we're gonna continue to use the farm fresh eggs that we eat until she's born, and then hopefully these will last us until, you know, a couple weeks um, after we finally start making it to the grocery store again. Got six bags of frozen strawberries, two bags of frozen blueberries for smoothies, three bags of frozen organic french fries. These are just for fun. Um, anytime that we maybe have like a grilled cheese night or just something simple. No, that's fine, John. And then three bags of organic cheese. And then over here we have our normal. Um, these are just the, this is the produce and the odds and ends that I needed for our normal week of groceries this week. So this, these are some potatoes, some spring mix, some arugula, two boxes, two cartons of spinach, some apples, some oranges, two bundles of bananas, a container of blue cheese, some shredded cheddar, a roll of sausage, two packs of grass-fed ground beef, and six avocados. So that is everything that um, needs to be refrigerated.